Hey folks, everything new under the sun. Um, this is another, um, well, kind of breaking. It's from yesterday. Um, and it's breaking because the uh, the recent events on the Temple Mount were led to the, the shooting of uh, two um, Israeli uh, soldiers by two armed gunmen at the Damascus Gate, I think it's called. I uh, forget exactly. Um, and they came from the Temple Mount. They weren't coming from outside the Temple Mount uh, complex. Uh, but in in light of that, they had closed down the Temple Mount. But then they opened it up just to uh, Israel, uh, Israelis, Jews. Uh, so this is breakingisraelnews.com. And I think, thought this was significant enough to do a, a quick little short video on it. Islamic Waqf uh, boycott leads to prophetic sightings on uh, of prayer on Temple Mount. <clears throat> As Israeli uh, police forces look on, Jewish men recite the Kadesh. Prayer of mourning for the Jerusalem policemen killed in Temple Mount July 14th. The Islamic Waqf has boycotted the compound, leaving Jews unmolested by Muslim chaperones forbidding prayer. So prior to this uh, shooting event, which maybe was very prophetic, <clears throat> the Jews could not go on to Temple Mount without uh, Waqf uh, or Jor Jordanian Muslim um, <clears throat> police officers, effectively. Uh, chaperoning them, walking around with them, making sure they're not praying, because, you know, they do this head movement thing when they pray. And so they know when the Jews are praying, uh, the Christians, of course, can just go up there and uh, I, I can be praying right now, and you wouldn't know it, right? We can pray in our, in our minds to God, because <clears throat> God cause obviously, can obviously uh, read our minds. He made us, so he can uh, we can communicate with him that way. So they have no idea that when the Christians are, are praying, um, but the Jews uh, do it a little more uh, visually, obviously. And so they prevent that generally. But now, because of the aftermath and because of the boycott of, of the Waqf uh, policemen, now the Jews can go up there and do whatever they want, pretty much. Uh, amazingly. A number of Israeli Jews were able to pray freely on the Temple Mount. That's very uh, prophetic. They hadn't been able to do that in, <clears throat> I think, as uh, many years. Um, a number of Israeli Jews were able to pray freely on the Temple Mount Monday after a bizarre sequence of events which, which resulted in Muslims boycotting the site. The Jews ascending the Temple Mount were unattended by Muslim guards for the first time in decades. So if you don't think that is prophetic, well, uh, I don't know what you would think is prophetic. I think that's pretty, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting timing as well. Some could not resist the temptation to pray in an important display of piety. The first prayers were for the non-Jewish policemen who fell, and they were Jewish uh, policemen. <clears throat> On Friday, three Palestinians opened fire at the Temple Mount, killing two Jewish uh, Israeli policemen and injuring two others before they were killed by Israeli forces. Netanyahu ordered the Temple Mount reopened on Sunday which, with increased security measures, which included requiring Muslim visitors to pass through metal detectors. While Jews who visit the site have always been subjected to strict security checks, including metal detectors, Muslims have never been. So, I, how was that fair? Uh, now they're just being subjected to the same uh, security measures that the Jews uh, have been <clears throat> subjected to this whole time. The Jordanian Islamic Authority, the Waqf, immediately con called on Muslims to boycott the site. And I'm sure the Jews said, hooray, <laughs> feel free to boycott the site. Uh, why would they want them up there? Calling the metal detectors Israeli aggression. Inter-Islamic scuffles broke out as Palestinians attempt to prevent others from entering the Temple Mount compound. Dozens of Muslims prayed at the entrances to the compound, kneeling in prayer towards the IDF guards in a scene that seemed to be the sudden materialization of prophecy. And the sons of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow them down at the soles of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city Hashem, uh, <coughs> the Zion of the Holy One, Israel, is, uh, Isaiah 60, 14. Uh, so they think they, they're praying to their God, Allah, and there is no such God, Allah. Um, the only uh, other uh, spiritual uh, being would be Satan, effectively, that they would be praying to. It's God or Satan, basically. That's, that's the choice. And so, <coughs> unbeknownst to them, um, it seems like they are uh, bowing to the Jews, interestingly. On Monday, Jews were finally permitted to visit the site. Due to the walk strike, they were able to walk on the Temple Mount without an, uh, an antagonistic Muslim guard in attendance to assure that they, they would not pray, so they were completely unrestricted. The site was also largely free of Muslim worshippers observing the walk boycott. 
Several visitors took advantage of the rare opportunity to connect with God on the holiest site in the world. In a touching scene, several Jews said a Kaddish, the mourner's prayer, at the site where one of the two policemen were killed. So this is um, BreakingIsraelNews.com. I'm going to put the link here. This is uh, very interesting, prophetically speaking. And uh, how long will this go on for? How long will they boycott, you know? Um, I'm sure all the Jews are saying, yeah, go for it, Muslims. So boycott the Temple Mount. Leave it to us. And uh, <clears throat> if the uh, walk people were smart at all, they would say, regardless of the metal detectors, uh, flood the Temple Mount with Muslims. And uh, and the Jews wouldn't like that. Uh, but, you know, they want to bo boycott it. So prophetic events happening um, every single day. And this is pretty interesting. Out of the ordinary, I wanted to do a, a video aside of it. Check out the article. Uh, amazing things are happening in Israel. God is coming back soon.